And welcome to another Ryan Sports Views. Tonight I'm reviewing Honduras nil, Qatar 2 in Group D of the 2021 CONCACAF Gold Cup. The last video that I will do about the group stage of the 2021 CONCACAF Gold Cup. Yes, we're halfway through the tournament. Whether you look at the numbers of matches that will be played or the stages of the tournament. Either way, actually we're over halfway with the numbers of matches that will be played. But hey... Way over, honestly, but hey, most people look at this as halfway, so it's been a really quick tournament. Only seven more matches, four, five, six, seven to go. It's been a really quick tournament, a fun one, but a really quick tournament. Goals are scored as follows in the 25th minute. Omam Ahmed with a great play. Ball crossed to him by Al Hayedos. Takes the shot, bangs it far post. Into the side netting. Amazing shot. Amazing goal by Ahmed. What a play. What a goal. Goal of the group stage, honestly. What a goal off the angle. Just bangs it in. Easy as you like. 1-0. That's the way it would go into halftime. Then at the end of the game, Abdel Aziz Hatim has the ball passed to him on a break. Empty netter. Pops it into the net. Makes it 2-0. Seals the game for Qatar. Seals the group for Qatar. 90 plus 4 minute. 2-0 Qatar. That's the way it would end. And a pretty dominant game for them. Stats are as follows. 8 shots to 19. 0 shots on target to 6. 59% possession to 41% possession. 480 passes to 337 passes. 89% pass accuracy to 80% pass accuracy. 14 fouls to 7. 1 yellow card to 0. No red cards. 4 offside to 0. 6 corners to 5. Let me tell you this, when it comes to Honduras versus Qatar, Qatar outpaced Honduras all night long. They did. Better offense, better defense, better midfield, better at everything, honestly, tonight. Just better. Honduras choked. They were happy with getting through the group. And Qatar just bounced on them. Pounced, bounced, whatever you want to say. They were like, okay. You're fine with getting through. We're going to win this group and beat you and win this group. And leave Panama with no hope. That's the way you want to play. Panama is playing right now. They're playing out a game that doesn't matter in the slightest because the only way they would have had a chance to go through is if they won 5-0 and Qatar lost. Guess what? Qatar won. Winning the game meant they win the group. Honduras goes through second. And Panama is out. They're playing a game that doesn't matter. And the fans there probably know it. They're just there for a good time. They'll probably beat Granada, but that sucks, you know? With the rain delay, you know what's happening. You're there for no reason. But they have to play it out. That sucks. But, as we speak, but... Honduras just got stomped out. They got stomped out. <laughs> they got stomped out. They stopped and smelled the roses. They were like, this is good enough. And they got beat. They got exposed. Romel Kyoto got hurt. Jerry Bankston comes on. Romel Kyoto is probably Honduras's best striker, honestly. Romel Kyoto is a great player. As a TFC fan, I hate to say it, but the dude is amazing. The dude is wonderful. A wonderful footballer. Real recognized real. He makes us pay all the time. It is what it is. Jerry Bangston, he's good. I like him at Olympia, but he's only good on his club team. For Honduras, he's... <sighs> Not great. It depends on who he's playing. He can score. I'm not saying he can't. He can. But against a bigger nation, a team that's won an Asian Cup, nowhere to be found, nowhere to be seen. Albert Elise broke his toe. He's out for the tournament. That hurt him too. Honduras, they played it soft. They played it like, eh, we're through. We'll rest players that are on yellows. We'll be fine against El Salvador. They're okay with it. 
they played for second. They were like, hey, maybe Qatar won't make us pay. Qatar beat the tar out of them. They beat the tar out of them. Oh. Oh, yeah. They beat the tar out of them. Simple as. They beat the tar out of them. And that's what you need to do. And Qatar is scary right now. They are. They've done pretty good. They've done better than I expected in CONCACAF during the group stage. And they're playing teams that are less concacaf -y as the tournament goes on. They could win this thing. Oh, no. Qatar is El Salvador. Honduras is Mexico. So sorry. but Honduras is like, we're okay with Mexico. They think they could beat Mexico. With the way Mexico's playing, I could see it happening, but that's when they turn on, don't they? We'll see. But Qatar gets El Salvador, Honduras gets Mexico, but we'll get into that. Honduras just didn't come out to play at all. Nothing was positive for them. They had no shots on goal. It's Honduras we're talking about. There's a legend behind these guys. The Catrachos. And they did not live up to that legend. I don't care if it's just San Pedro Sula. They have a legend besides San Pedro Sula. And yes, I still hate San Pedro Sula. You know what I'm talking about. 8-1, 2012. Ring any bells? Jerry Banks didn't play in that game too, by the way. No. I don't want to talk about 8-1 anymore. Um, for me, Honduras did not have that killer instinct they had back on that fateful day in 2012. They did not. They were like, yeah, we'll take going through. That's all that matters. Rest some of our players. We could beat Mexico with our best 11. Besides the fact that Kyoto's probably out now with a pulled hamstring. He's probably done for at least that game. And then Alberta Lease broke his toe. So there you go. Sadly enough, that's that. I don't know. I think they could hold Mexico back, but they've got to find something better. And possibly face Canada slash Costa Rica. But I, I don't know. I, I don't know. And that's the thing. Honduras basically threw away their tournament. They really did. I'd rather play El Salvador. I'd rather play the USA or Jamaica. Whoever comes out of that game. Probably USA. You're in the final. You win that group, you could be in the final. A lot easier. But no. You, you throw away your tournament. Gotta do better. They sleepwalk their way into second. Qatar basically sleepwalks their way into winning the group because honestly, that didn't take much effort. Yeah, sleepwalking in is a good title for this one. Honestly, Qatar didn't take much effort to win this game. They were amazing, but they didn't take much effort. That was like second gear. And I've seen them in third and fourth gear because that was Panama. Like, dude, I knew they have more. They won this game pretty dominantly on second gear. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'd be a little bit worried if I was El Salvador and the USA and Jamaica, frankly. Maybe they could win. I don't think so. But we'll see. I'm just saying it's, it's, it's there. Qatar could be in the final of the Gold Cup. I wouldn't be shocked. Mexico Qatar, that that's the final. We'll see though. But with that said, of course, the quarterfinal ties are as follows. 
I don't really have to say much more about this game. The quarterfinal ties are as follows on the left side of the bracket. El Salvador versus Qatar. USA versus Jamaica. On the other side of the bracket, Mexico versus Honduras. Canada versus Costa Rica. USA versus Jamaica, Canada versus Costa Rica. I don't know why. I think I may have screwed that up, but whatever. If I did, I did. I corrected it, but El Salvador, Qatar, USA, Co uh, Jamaica, Mexico, Honduras, Canada, Jama Canada, Costa Rica. Let me do that again. El Salvador, Qatar. USA, Jamaica, Mexico, Honduras, Costa Rica, Canada. There we go. So with that said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. I'm not making predictions yet. That's Thursday. So there you go. I'm not making predictions yet. Just wait. Just wait. Be patient. Be patient. Go subscribe to my Patreon, $5, 10 or $20 a month. Anything is appreciated. Help support the channel. Link in the description below. Go be awesome because if you support, you're awesome. If you do anything to support, you're awesome. Not just the Patreon, but subscribing, liking, sharing, all that. You're awesome if you support this channel in any way. We're making it places because I've heard some things that I'm honored to hear. Dominic Rich called me Mr. CONCACAF on Ryan LFC's stream when I was on there for Jamaica, Costa Rica while it was on the weather delay, so that happened. Um, that's awesome. Never thought Dominic Rich knew who I was. That, that's amazing. It's amazing. Small world, eh? Small world. With that said, Toronto versus New York Red Bulls RSR out tomorrow because they play tomorrow. They better win. I think they will. We'll see. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you soon.